I start? Uh, the reason I was Video watching that the last night. How many of you watched the, the new iPad release? You watched it? What? Did you order anything? Not yet. <laughs> Actually, this morning I'm really tired because I was trying to pre-order one, and the internet is so it's very slow. And any page I go, it just turned out so many people. Okay, uh, let's let me come back to the Huawei inside mobile. Welcome to Huawei Enterprise. Uh, before I start, actually, my name is Helen. In the next uh, 10 to 15 minutes, I'm trying to in introduce you the new Huawei inside mobile. Because I, the, the reason I say new is because we haven't even released it. And this is the first time we show it in public. Before I start, I wanted to ask, how many of you is really the IT administrator before? You did really configure your network gears, doing all those things. Have you had any experience in that? Oh, by the way, I, I, like I said, if you answer some of my questions, you get a gift. I think this is a very cool one. <laughs> so, and also most of my questions are very, very simple. <laughs> okay, now, what is eSight Mobile? eSight Mobile is a application that runs on the smart device. And on the back end, the inside mobile basically uh, leverages the power of inside, which could manage everything, manage as a one. Uh, you could use this application for monitoring, troubleshooting, or doing some kind of basic configuration at uh, anywhere, any any time, because that's a mobile device. In our plan, we'll support what kind of smart devices like uh, those. Of course, on the same first version, will only support the iPad, that's for today, but later we'll support all those devices over there. Uh, our focus for this solution is basically want to maximize, maximize like uh, simplify your um, network management. And because my experience is whenever you talk about network management, people will think, ooh, that's the big thing. And it's so hard. The, now we think the network management should be should not be that hard. And especially uh, yesterday when I talk my with my colleagues, they build those Huawei very, very powerful AR switch, all those things. I say, wow, it's powerful, it's so cool. But they said, well, about 50% of the feature are used. I said, how? Oh, they spend so many money, how they only use 15% of the features? Because it's hard. It's a lot of feature is not so easy to use. It's not very obvious, all those kind of things. So what we focus on easy to use and the innovation. Inside mobile is just one of those kind of examples. So let me give you a very, very simple demo. Then you will see how the network management could be managed. You'll be surprised to find it so easily. Now, I, let me connect with my iPad. Like uh, any of the applications, first of all, like uh, I said, inside mobile, leverage the power of inside. So first of all, you provide inside the uh, location and provide your username and password. Then you log in. 
So on the first screen, you basically based on your uh, privilege. First screen will show you all the device is visible for you according to your uh, permission. You don't see other people's device, you don't have the permission. And then you see from here, if you want to look at how the, the, um, the device, the packet is, is routed, this one visually show you how all those kind of information is gone. If you look at this, it's very simple. You can see very visually to see everything, how it's going on. Of course, for the large enterprise, you will find it's probably with such a little device. How can I manage all the device? So here, what we provide you with, you could simply search. For example, I want to search some kind of device over here because you can see they are here. Um, then we find one. So I search for the CPD core device. It also show, highlight that core device for you. And another one, of course, you play this one, you think it's cool. Do you? Do you think it's cool? Yeah. <laughs> of course it's cool. But for the net, net, uh, the IT enemy, you probably don't really for the qualities to use this, this application. You use it because you want to solve the problem. Now here you could say when you come to this kind of device, you actually really want to get your job done. You want to monitor your network, what's going on over here. So now for example, I want to say oh, this one, what's going on for this? It not only show you very uh, visually what's going on, and also it highlights the device on this problem. Ooh. Something going on. That's all the probably most of the IT and me could face. Something going on. You are right now in the bar. Just got one beer and uh, something going on. Now you need to drive to your office. When we provide a solution, find out no matter where you are and push the, uh, the notification to you. And it uh, has the intelligence to find out um, what you are available. For example, you might on phone, you might on email, you might on uh, some other device. You just push this notification to you. Plus that, like I said, we will not only uh, show you that, we also e exactly tell you what's going on. In the, this case, if you can say, oh, this filter, huh. It tell you the interface changed to the down state. Looks like some of the problem on the connection. You can see it? Even though you're not a network enemy, you can see the problem, correct? Now, a lot of times we probably want to solve this problem. I want to go to the device to find exactly what's happening over there. Now, I drill down to the device, you can see it shows that port has a problem. Something wrong with that. Let me take a look at that. It tells you the name of the port, MAC address, and also its status. And uh, of course, if you don't familiar with this device, it provides you the capability and you could navigate this device. This image is not a stale kind of image, it's basically dynamically created based on the device itself. How many modules you have and uh, what kind of uh, uh, model it is. So for example, if you don't familiar with that, you tell you, when I click this, you tell me this SRU board. Like those kind of information. Well, let me come back. We'll come here, drill uh, down into here because we try to solve a problem. Now, looks like something is wrong. I have those kind of tools over here. I'm trying to fix the problem. Um, today's sense is a little bit tough. Let me see if I can find someone. What we also pro provide is those kind of collaboration tools embedded just one click away. If you look at that, I find some of my colleagues, it's available very close to this device. You can see that I say, oh, Ranga, he's the expert for our new Huawei device. Let me ask him if he could help me. 
So we have right now we have the beauty email, we have the FaceTime, and also we have Huawei's eSpace. Let me see if I could video to him. Connecting. Oh, you have the sound. Let me see if other people could hear you as well. Hello. Oh, that's very low. Hey, Ranga. Uh, a little bit help needed over here. Well, I'm doing a free speech in front of so many ladies and gentlemen here, but the device is, is had some problem. That's really embarrassing. Can you help me with that? Okay. Oh. Uh, yes, I can see that. So what's going on for that cable? Oh. Oh, that's the problem. Someone did that. So I guess you say the problem fixed, and then you say my network goes into the normal so it seems just as easy as this. Of course, some of the admin kind of says, well, I have many, many certificates and a lot of things I recommend. I remember so many, so many CLIs. If I don't do it, my hands will itch. <laughs> we also provide that command like capabilities for you. For example, oh, let me go to just use a different device. So this is a, another device on that side. If you are interested with that, you could go there to take a look at that one as well. So, oh no. If you look at here, you could go to the command line. We basically provide the SSH and a telnet like a tunnels over there. Then you can right now sit in the bar or sit on somewhere, configure your device and manage your device. And if you are drunk, <laughs> the system will automatically detect you're drunk and don't allow you to access. No, that's kidding. No, we cannot do that. <laughs> but we did, you, you, you see my point. So basically, while we try our best to uh, focus on the innovation and the easy use of the system. <coughs> so, uh, to summarize what I just demoed to you, one point you can see is what we really want to emphasize the intuitive user interface and try to make the whole network management easy. Because there's a lot of benefit to make it easy. You understand if, if before, if you need, the system is very complicated, you need to find some kind of professional with, with a lot of training to do this job. Right now, you maybe just find some, someone has limited network knowledge and manage your device. And also because it's very easy to find the problem, it make your downtime like um, minimized. So first uh, kind of intuitive interface, as I showed you, if this one actually I didn't show you, sorry, you could go to our booth to, to try it yourself. If the device itself has a problem, we show the device has a problem, right? And if the connection has a problem, we show the connection has a problem. And then you could drill down from there and to, to do the things. And the second point is the natural interaction flow. A lot of time, our experience, we find the problem, we try to solve it ourselves, we, we think we're okay. And if we cannot, we find people nearby if someone could help us. And if the video is available, of course we could talk with them, we'll talk about some, use some other tools that is available for us. The second one is anytime, anywhere access. 
you could either when you sit here, you could access use Wi-Fi or use 3G. And actually, with the new um, the new iPad, there's LTE 4G. You could use that to access your device at anywhere, anytime. And the third one is the collaboration enhanced platform. So we we provide the location. And also you could find, uh, we could also do the messaging or notification and video or other things. So any question of that? If you don't have question, I could ask you a question and like I said, I have gifts. Okay, that gentleman. Uh, right now, the, like uh, the, you, you said, uh, which one, the co collaboration? I, right now, the iPad, you could use two ways to co uh, connect it to my management center. One is use Wi-Fi, like right now, I actually use Wi-Fi to connect to there. And also, how you could also use 3G, or something available for you. Maybe later, you have 4G. <laughs> yeah, we welcome. You said you have to log in on the card? Okay, so this gentleman... Yes, so this gentleman's question is, is do, does he need to log in on this application all the time? Uh, you actually, you log into the, uh, the system and uh, you actually don't need to. If you don't want to go to look at the, the, uh, the device itself, because if you just want to be interested with the notification information, it don't. It's just like a messaging. Yes. You don't need... No, you don't. You need to push your notification. Uh, Yes, yes, yes. We also could send you an email. And then you look at the email, you go back to take your iPad to say what's going on over there. Yes, yes, that's correct. 